Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Hey, what's up, everyone? You find yourselves trying to get your Craig Mac on and put some brand new flavor in your ear? Well, funny you should mention that because we have a brand new show that you should check out. It is called Pod Sauce. It is your podcast discovery show. Everyone's always looking for a podcast recommendation. We got lots of them for you, from true crime to pop culture. And you can join us each week as we dish on all of our favorite podcasts out there. So make sure you download the Odyssey app and search Pod Sauce or head on over to podsauce.com. We got you covered, guys. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Let's play B-Mix. It's time to play the game. Yeah! It's Wednesday, so maybe we could whack him instead. Whack it. Let me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. Whack it. Not we as in like me. I don't want to whack Steve. I'm here just to provide the questions. Right. The we would be our contestant, hopefully. We got Matt and Redmond. Matt, are you there? I am, sir. Excellent. All right, Steve. Get out of here. Goodbye. Whack it. For those playing at home, Matt will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Matt, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Let's whack it. What actor played the role of Ichabod Crane in the 1999 movie Sleepy Hollow? Johnny Depp. Yes. Agoraphobia is the fear of what? Leaving your home. Yes. What kind of animal is Manny in the animated movie Ice Age? He is a... Saber to oh no, a mammoth. Yes. Which Star Wars character is fluent in over 60 million languages? Pass. What language has the most words? Pass. In Home Alone, what animal did Buzz keep as a pet? A tarantula. Yes. With which former talk show host played Sophia in the movie The Color Purple? Oh, pass. What Caribbean island did Columbus originally name Juana? Uh, oh man. Um, pass. What major city is nicknamed the Mile High City? I don't know, Denver. <laughs> yes! Lance Bass was a member of which boy band? Oh god, I think. Yes! Which Star Wars character is fluent in over 60 million Yoda. languages? No! No. Note of the Yoda. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> correct! Well, he came back. I mean, he had yeah. a little bit of a tough stretch, but he came back and. He knew we'll what see. to do. He knew how to pass. He knew how to, you know, if he didn't know those weren't in his wheelhouse. So good job there, Matt. But, uh, well, I think maybe yeah. Steve will have the advantage on this one. He's a good guesser, that Steve. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll hear you back. You ready? Yes! 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 What actor played the role of Ichabod Crane in the 1999 movie Sleepy Hollow? Uh, Tom Cruise. No, what the hell was that? Why? That made me sleepy. You sang sleepy. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oh, um, Brad Pitt. No. Uh, George Clooney. No. Yes. Agoraphobia is the fear of what? Being outside? Yes. What kind of animal is Manny in the animated movie Ice Age? A gorilla. No. Ape. No. Um, bunny. No. Which Star Wars character is fluent in over 60 million languages? Ooh, I'm going to go Chewbacca. No. Um, Yoda? <laughs> no. 
Obi Wan Kenobi. No, what? Luke. No. Uh. What language has the most words? Chinese. No. Japanese. No. Uh, English. Yes. In Home Alone, what animal did Buzz keep as a pet? Dog. No. Oh. Cat. No. Uh, monkey. No. Which mm. former talk show host played Sophia in the movie The Color Purple? Whoopi Goldberg. No. Oh. Oh crap. Ellen DeGeneres. No. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell. Wow, oh. no. Steve, wow. wow. You dropped a deuce Ooh. and you lose. Oh. Matt beat you six to two. Oh, nice nice job, nice. Matt. Ooh, wow. Yeah, you treated me yeah, like a Rev had, had, Rev had no confidence in you, Matt, but you know what? I silently thought you were going to do well in this one. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. You're welcome. Yeah, you too, buddy. There you You're go. welcome. I'm not smart. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know what, though, wow. Steve? You do get this, my friend. Sleepy with that first question and never recovered. No. You put me yeah. to sleep, man. Matt knew the answer was Johnny Depp. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It was a it was a cool movie back yeah. in the day. <laughs> yeah. After uh Edward Scissor Hands, I stopped watching Johnny Depp movies. Oh, oh really? All of them? Yes. It's just the best one and you'll never, <laughs> never get, get better. Yeah, he'll never get better than that one. <laughs> uh Manny is a mammoth. Uh Matt knew that one as well. Oh. Yep. Nobody got the Star Wars character that is fluent in over sixty million languages. He even tells you so himself in the first movie. Is think, it, yeah, he oh, does. No. C three PO? Yes it is. Nice yeah. work, Vicky. Yeah, good job on that. <laughs> Now that's R2-D2. What do you want from me? Uh, uh, now apparently we don't want a lot from you. <laughs> yeah. uh, Buzz had a tarantula in Home Alone. Yeah. Remember, it was put on Daniel Stern's face and he freaks out. Big no, I don't remember. You really don't? Well, I would have got it right if I did. I guess, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's a good call. It's, yeah, I think we <laughs> safe to say Steve didn't remember. Uh, the former talk show host that played Sophia in the uh, movie The Color Purple. Oprah. There you go. Good Damn job, it. buddy. Yeah. Now I remember. Well, good job. A little late, but uh, yeah. We, there's a couple questions you didn't get to. One that uh, Matt did not get correct. What Caribbean island did Columbus originally name Juana? We'll just pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Cuba? It was. It's Cuba. Yeah. It's Cuba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. And, uh, yeah, Steve. Uh, well, uh, maybe have some brain food for the next game because uh, well, you lost. So yeah, you I'm lost, gonna, buddy. Gonna and Reb thought for fish. sure you were going to have an easy time with this, and he was. <laughs> I really did. Yeah, Boy, I, were you wrong? I, yeah, yeah, just as wrong as you were. Yes. Yeah, Steve, you got whacked badly. Whack. Badly. Yeah, you got you got a good whacking. Woo! Whack it. Did not enjoy that experience. <laughs> There's a Starbucks barista. Her name is Josie. She works in Van Nuys, California, and she tweeted a picture of a customer's order on Saturday. And uh, this might be the craziest order I have ever seen. His name is Edward, and Edward ordered a caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino. And he had 13 modifications to this. 13? Yeah. Uh, and they included five bananas. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm looking at this. This is ridiculous. Extra caramel drizzle, extra whip, extra ice. Extra cinnamon, uh, extra cinnamon dolce topping, seven extra pumps of caramel sauce, extra caramel crunch, one pump of honey blend, and exactly seven frappuccino chips. Oh, my. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, really, Edward? Uh, the tweet actually went viral and blew up so much that the name Edward was trending on Twitter yesterday. <laughs> Don't be an Edward. <laughs> Don't be an Edward. We, we, we finally have the male version of Karen. Oh it's gosh. Edward. I do love this. Yeah, I'm looking at some of these. One of them looks like it has like 30 adjustments to the order, which just seems insane. That's crazy. That but, is, uh, wow. With Edward, I'm looking at his order, and it's a mobile order. So he did this on the app, I'd yeah. imagine. So at least he didn't have to, like, say it, you know? Because I remember since I was like, my wife used to get like a little bit more elaborate orders now. Now she's kind of like just keeps it basic with like an Americano and, and stuff. But and sometimes I'd be at the burrito. I'm like, I don't even, I have to pull my phone and I'm like saying it. And I'm like, this is just so embarrassing. Like I'm just like reading like a laundry list of things that the, the order is. I think actually Starbucks is one of these, the languages that C3PO speaks as a matter of fact. Because it it's, it's a language on its own. People that can go in there and speak fluent Starbucks. I kind of want to know what that tastes like, though. Should we put that order in? Yeah. Mm. Danny, put that order in. You have an app. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that way you don't have to actually look at their face when you're ordering it. Yeah, yeah there's no <laughs> way I could do that. <laughs> oh, I want Danny to memorize it and then go and order it to their face. Hardcore. Come on, Danny. You can do this. You're a performer. Uh, I don't want to do this. Wow. I don't okay, want to be then. glared at the whole time. <laughs> oh, You'll man, be put on the list. So awesome. Yeah, I will. The, this the, guy the, can't come order it anymore. Yeah. The no coffee list. You'll be the Daniel. The Edward and the Daniel. 
Somebody, yeah, that's wow. Somebody I, I think works at Starbucks. Yeah, they posted that someone's order that they come in every week and get this. And dude, I don't even know how many things are on this list, but it looks like about thirty. Oh wow! So they even beat Edward. Wow. Yeah, this is way worse. It's like a green tea, but it, it has stu- it has words in here that I don't even know what they mean. Wow, that's a long list. That's like, a what long. What is an affogato? Um, wasn't that uh, wasn't that on the uh, the Sticks album? Thank you very much, Mister Affogato. Yes. <laughs> and then a cascara. Oh, that's what you put on your eyes to look pretty. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to come up with something, Rev. That's all I, I got. Yeah, for you I people. don't know what a cascara is. Yeah. I don't know what this is, man. A cascara. Uh, well, anybody find out what a cascara is? Plant. In Spanish, it means uh, shell cascara. <laughs> That's all I Shell. found so far. Oh, okay. Well, well I, I know. know. Drinks have shells in them. Uh, well, looking, cascara is used as a laxative. Oh, so I don't. A, I, this wow. has got to be something. I don't know. Well, I can see you putting a laxative in your tea if you want to be able to. Oh, smooth. it's the dried skins of coffee cherries. Yeah. Uh, don't ask me anything more about this. That's wow. I found it from you, Fresh you, Cup magazine. So is that for you, digestion? Because there are there are teas uh, made for digestion. Because how do you even know that's something that exists? And 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 then to know that they have it there. Uh, Edward knows. <laughs> Anybody who's an Edward knows these things. Yeah, they, sh- wow. they should just make that a signature drink now. Like, hey, would you like to try our Edward? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then T-Boy, whoever T-Boy is over here. The Cascara. Yeah. The Cascara. Wow. Yeah, I want a tea that will make me take a D. Thank you. Right? There you go. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not the one. I, I try my best not to like change up. Like you know, when you go to a restaurant, I, I don't really want to say no this, no that. Like the only thing I don't want are tomatoes or onions. Like that's to me. Like it doesn't matter anything else. But I feel like that's a simple thing to ask to take Wait, off. Tomatoes too. Tomatoes wreck me. Oh man. Yeah. Some like they just like they give me canker sores. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. So I can't even mess with those things. I love them. Don't get me wrong. Like every once in a while, I just decide to live on the edge and have something with a tomato <laughs> in it. And I'm like, this is amazing. Until like a day later, and I'm like, that was a bad idea. You sound like me with anything anything dairy. Yeah. This well, is how gonna are suck, you? but okay. How are you with spaghetti sauce? Like for Fine. pizza, friend. It really so it's just the raw tomato. The raw that gets tomato, you. yeah. Wow. The same like you know, pineapples, like a, a fresh pineapple will wreck me. Aww. But like a cooked pineapple or like it seems to be fine. Like when I get pineapples on my pizza, I have no issues. Look at this. Yeah, yeah there you go. So really, pizza is the common denominator. We, yes. If you put anything on the pizza, you should be fine. <laughs> that that's my safety spot. Yeah. Oranges, but no one wants oranges on their pizza. No. Well, well, I haven't tried one. Mm. I have. I mean, I feel like I feel like I've had oranges on my pizza for some reason. What? I don't know why. But probably a real, one of those fancy pizzas you can get. Really? I feel like I have in my life. My brain is thinking that I might have had an orange on a pizza one time. Orange, like a little tangerine. Orange chicken chipotle pizza. That's what, probably blood, yeah, that's orange, what it is. blood oranges on a spring pizza with arugula and other green things. Yeah, I think it, you know maybe Mia Posto or you know uh, serious pie, someplace like that. I like those little, like the little, like the satsuma oranges. Yeah, it looks like the little mandarin oranges. Yeah, yeah. yeah mandarin pizza is oh. a thing too. No, I just like having them because it makes me feel like I'm a really big person. And like, you know, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like a giant. But they, they oh, you feel like uh, you feel like King Kong. Yes, just, I like uh, it because it makes me orange. feel like an average size person. <laughs> oh, yeah, good call. <laughs> so he said, eggplant gives me canker sores. Can't eat them. Ooh, unless of course it's parmesan, right? Oh, that's, that's the way you get around that. Oh, that deep fry be- those bad boys, right? That's not a bad call. Yeah, deep frying, everything works. Yeah, right? Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Mm. We got a Major League Baseball player who missed a game because he hurt himself playing video games. I'll tell you all about this at 717 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Oakland A's starter... Jesus Lazardo injured his throwing hand while playing video games over the weekend. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Yeah, here's uh, A's team manager Bob Melvin uh, on the whole thing. Before the game, he was playing a video game and accidentally bumped his hand on the desk as he was playing the game. He came in, was a little bit sore. Training staff checked him out. We threw him in the cage before he went out there. Watched him warmed up. He was comfortable pitching. Training staff was comfortable with him pitching. After the game, we got an x-ray and there was a hairline in the pinky finger. Oh. Wow. They made it sound like, like he accidentally just like touched the table. I and mean, I feel like you have to like... 
really slam your hand to f- fracture a bone in your body. Well, if you're playing a video game and you're either upset or you're just making a lot of right. crazy motions, yeah, I, mean, that, I can see that happening. That sounds like a nerd rage thing. I've punched a table before. Yeah. Right, no, that's what I mean. Like they're, they're, yeah. they're making it sound like as if it was just like a, a fluke little thing. Like I feel like he probably got pissed off and like slammed his hand or something along those lines. Yeah, uh, like uh, look, I've seen Rev, and so uh, it, it can happen. How about he had to apologize? He not had to, but he wanted to. He apologized to his teammates. He apparently feels really bad about this, which I get. Like it's kind of embarrassing. Like you weren't not able to pitch a game because you hurt your hand playing video games. Yeah, a hairline fracture. I mean, yeah, that's. I I don't know if they're going to keep him out for a while because uh, yeah and. and and the A's were doing well. I mean, I think they're still in first place, but they yeah. were they they were on a tear when not too long ago. He's put on a ten day injured list for yeah. this, and he hasn't had like his season hasn't been all that great. So maybe he needed this break because yeah. like he hasn't been pitching all that great before the hairline fracture. Oh, good. Well, yeah. they, they that's what, probably why they're not that upset. Melvin's like, ah, yeah, you know, what are you gonna do? It'll be like that show or that movie, uh, Rookie of the Year. Yeah, where he like breaks his arm and comes in. Yeah, just throwing heat now. Yeah, with his pinky. With his pinky. Yeah, that's wild, man. What a what a ridiculous way to hurt yourself, though. Well, Seriously, you know, you've got one thing, and that's your hand as a pitcher. You got to keep that safe, right? Your pitching hand. Well, I want to know what video game it was. Like, I keep checking all these stories, and there's no report. Like, what game made him so angry that MLB the Show? He's playing as himself, yeah, right. and he was sucking. He's like, in real life, in video games, I suck. That would be great if that was the case. Yeah, that is uh, that, that's a that's a great way to get hurt, buddy. It's the lukewarm topic of the day. So, yeah, a pitcher for the Oakland A's sustained a freak injury playing a video game. Based on this, we want you to finish this sentence. I can't believe I hurt myself doing blank. 206-421-ROCK. You can text us at 77999. Finish this sentence. I can't believe I hurt myself doing blank. We got your calls. We got your text. After the Chili's on the Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on the Rock ninety nine point nine KISW ninety nine point nine KISW the Rock of Seattle. A pitcher for the Oakland A's sustained a freak injury playing a video game. Based on this, finish this sentence. I can't believe I hurt myself doing blank. Let's go to Tom and Auburn. Tom, you are on the Rock. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning, Tom. How about you? How'd you hurt yourself, buddy? I slipped in the shower. Woo! Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> From 2013 to 2016, I was stationed at Fort Lewis, and um, we had just come back from a month in California out at the uh, National Training Center, and I drove to Kent to my girlfriend's place, and she's my wife now, but I was taking a shower, we're getting ready to go out, and I turned to go rinse myself off after, you know, lathering up, and my foot slipped out from under me because she never had, she didn't have bath mats or anything like that, and oh, I, my, my feet were so calloused up that it was just like, it, I just, it just, my foot came out right out from under me, and for a second, it looked like a cartoon, you know, when they're kicking their feet right before they go splat. Uh-huh, that's, yeah. how, that's how I looked in the shower, and I instinctively placed my, put my left hand down so I didn't smack my head when I fight, when my center of gravity finally shifted and my fingers slipped out from under, my hand slipped out from under me and went into the drain and it scalped out a huge chunk of my pinky finger and, and sliced my, and, and, and continued going like it sliced the inside of it too. So, um, and I'm left handed too. So it was my left hand that did that. So she drove me down. She drove me back to base so I can go to Madigan Hospital. They had to inject five shots to a numbing agent and then st- and stitched up the inside of my finger because that was just a slice. But that huge scalp that had to heal on its own. And to make matters worse, I was the I was the clutch in my platoon. Like I was the biggest guy. I was like 215 pounds with like seven percent body fat, but I was just a massive clutch. <laughs> And oh, so damn. I just show back up to work with this splint on my pinky finger. It looks like I've got a permanent hang loose. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. And I, I got to tell everybody that I slipped in, in the shower at my girlfriend's house. Yeah, that's a that 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 is totally not a glamorous story to be able to, like you know you want to you you want to be able to say oh man dude I I I, you know, I fought a bear something you know I fought a bear <laughs> something yeah you know from now on whenever I get hurt you guys are like what happened I'm gonna say I fought a bear yeah see that's yeah. the end right that's what you want to give <laughs> as opposed to just you know farting in my car and pulling my yeah. back 
Oh, God. how'd you pull your back, Steve? I fought a bear. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. I, I didn't just fart in my car. No, I had a body body slam him. I didn't, I didn't pick him up with my back though. Oh. 206 421 Rock, Texas at seven seven nine nine nine. Let's go to Ryan in Maple Valley. Ryan, you are on the Rock. Good morning, BJ. Morning, Ryan. So, how about you? What was the dumbest way that you hurt yourself? How, how'd you do that? My wife just did it Sunday. Uh oh. She got a fracture on her right hand, pinky finger, from trimming the nails of our mini pig. Trimming the nails of your mini pig. <laughs> Is that like right. a euphemism for something? I, that, yeah. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so she what? fractured her hand trimming the nails of the mini pig. Surgery's tomorrow. So did, All the, right, did, uh, the, did, the, did the pig like kick her finger? Or, like how did that happen? I believe that's what happened. Is the pig kicked her finger? She didn't realize that it was severe as it was. And wow. it went, yeah, went to the um, yesterday, and realized it was fractured to the point where the ball and socket. The ball of actually the of the joint is oh. sticking out sideways. Oh, okay. okay, that's lovely. Um, has she trimmed the nails of this mini pig much? <laughs> yes, that's oh. an ongoing thing we do about every six weeks, two months. It's the bad day. Yeah, yeah I, I, it was I, a bad, bad day. day. Yeah. I mean, I, I I remember our dog. I mean, our dog did not like their nails trimmed. It no. took like two people to do it when they went, and we used to take him to the vet to get it done because we could never get it done on our own. I was yeah. just like, we're going to either hurt ourselves, hurt the dog. I can't imagine trying to trim the nails of a mini pig. <laughs> She's about seventy five pounds, about the size of a pit bull, just nothing but pure muscle. What's mini about that pig? <laughs> I think yeah, it's dude, small. I She's you small have compared to. Reach to- down to- yeah, small compared to other pigs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, 75 But yeah, pounds. I was picturing like like Lulu-sized pig. Yeah. Like an eight-pound pig. No. I was picturing something you fit in like one hand. <laughs> no. Right. Yeah, I ain't no. touching the nails. And I'll, I'll let oh, the, I'll, oh. did, Can you bring a pig to a groomer? Oh. You can, but most of the time you have to go to a farrier, so the same thing that would trim a horse. Oh, so it's probably more of a headache than it's worth than to so figure out how to do it on your own. So they, you can't take it to the dog salon. They won't do it. That'd yeah. be so funny if I walk into PetSmart with my 75-pound mini pig. <laughs> what, so it's we a don't dog? Take, we don't take pigs here. You mean this isn't a dog? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, a dog. I just thought you. I fed it too much. I know my dog's not that attractive, but how dare you call it a pig? <laughs> well, that's, um, that's, a, that's a beating. Ow. Um, yeah. Well, I, uh, like, they, 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 some people say like put like peanut butter on a hat. While you're trimming your dog's nails, I don't know if that works with a pig. I don't know if pigs like. Yeah, peanut I'm not butter. sure pigs are big into peanut butter, but uh, would that I work? Think you should a, try it anyway. Would that work on a two year old? Because I have the hardest time cutting my little brother's nails because he'll kick me in the face. Like it is awful. He'll kick you in even, the face, even if all he's right. asleep. Yes, he will Vicky, kick me in the face. Just yep. put peanut butter all over your face, and then yep. it'll it'll help. Okay. Or I'll put on a hat and lean in and see if he starts licking it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try that today. That's apparently what dogs do. They start licking the hat. Yeah. And while they're licking the hat, you have all the time in the world to work with the nails. This should work with a mini pig and Vicky's brother. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. Well, at least you didn't get a fractured anything from getting kicked in the face by your brother yet. Not yet. Not yeah. Well, I, yeah. I, I see your daughter's in the room there, BJ. Oh, lovely. Oh, Sarah. I cannot believe I got hurt just walking to the bathroom. It was the middle of the night. Lights were off. I thought I knew the my room. Um, I guess I didn't and slammed my toe into the dresser, which I thought was just going to be a normal stub toe. But mm-hmm. I turn the lights on and my toe is facing the complete other direction. Oh. Yeah. And it was like it was like really, really late. So I was like, I'm just going to go to bed and hopefully it's fine in the morning. <laughs> Was not fine in the morning. I ended up yeah. having to get surgery, and it still does not feel the same. Is the big toe? No, it was. I call it my ring toe. So it's the one right next to the pinky. I don't know how the pinky didn't get involved, but I skipped the pinky and went to the next one. Wow. Yeah, it was a big ordeal. I was like injured for like a year. Yeah, this was this was <laughs> this was not your normal stub toe. This was a beating. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I thought I thought I could just get to the bathroom fine. I, yeah, nope. I don't. I don't even. I can't even picture how that would happen. That's why I yeah. wear house shoes. 
Well, you know, you know, you're starting to sell me on these house shoes. I know, you. right? I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you. After that story, I was like, I am going to protect my feet. Yeah. I just saved myself again today. I just slammed into the bottom of my bed. You know how your bed has the little legs on there with the wheels? Oh, yeah. Slam that because you know you, you you walk towards the bed. You feel like, oh, I'm fine. I can put my feet underneath the bed. But there's those wheels. Slam them. Saved by the house shoes. That would have been a stub toe. I legit did this yesterday, same thing, without any shoes on, and I thought of BJ. I'm like, damn it, he was right. See, yeah, I, maybe he's on the sun. If you don't like the house shoes, you can always get yourself some house Crocs. Well, that's not going to They're rubber, safe, slip-on, completely perfect, completely fine. I might only wear Crocs in the house. If I find out they're really super comfortable and I try them, I will only wear them in the house. I don't want people to see me outside with them. What if we just become a whole show of guys and girls wearing Crocs in our house? Dreams do come uh. true. House Crocs. <laughs> Couch Crocs. House Crocs. I'm, I'm, I'm all for that. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Finish this sentence. I can't believe I hurt myself doing blank. A lot of people are texting about that. And I've, I've done this as well. I've, I've hurt myself by uh, sneezing. No, I can't believe I hurt myself by throwing out my lower back by sneezing. You got to bend your knees. I mean, I look like an idiot every time I do, but I bend my knees. I bend my knees when I sneeze, and supposedly that keeps you from really messing yourself up. All right, I do a little mini squat. (laughs) Do do you do it with your house shoes on, though? (laughs) Of course. I mean, that way, that way, I'm protected. Wait, well, listen. When I start wearing my helmet, you're gonna know I'm I'm ready for anything. (laughs) I had a buddy, baby. I had a buddy who sneezed in the shower, threw out his back in the shower. And so he, there's nothing he could do. He oh. just basically was just stuck there, just getting wet and and not being able to move whatsoever. Did, did oh. he live with anyone where they could help him? I was living with him at the time, but I wasn't at the house. So Which, he was just literally just stuck there in the shower until uh, I think maybe his mom came over or something. Oh, damn. It was such an so awkward his position. His mom had to help him while he's naked in the shower? Yes. I'd rather have you help me naked in the shower than my mom. <laughs> They are yeah. like, Rev, you got to come home. <laughs> you got to help me. I'm naked in the shower and I can't move. Would you I, help him? I mean, probably. <laughs> I would like to think so. Yeah. But I mean, isn't yeah. that like a mom's job to do that? Yeah, when they're four. Yeah. Oh, well, fair. Okay, yeah. I don't know yeah. if any adult individual wants their mom helping them out of a shower naked. When is it a roommate's job, though? I mean, well, when I'm, you're the roommate, it's part I'm of being the roommate. I think in the hierarchy of people to help you in naked in the shower, you go above the mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because well, okay. again, it's the naked thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh man, mom. I would rather one of you guys help me than my wife because I would never live it down. Oh, she yeah. would just make fun of me for that forever. And you think we wouldn't? I know. I was going to say. Yeah, but I don't have to, like, go home to you guys. And, like, you know, but you I, can at least I, get away from us. I mean, I right. feel like she would never let you live it down, but she would help you right away. I feel like we would all just fall to the floor uh, laughing and have you be in pain There would be photos longer. involved. Let me yes. get my phone. Hold, Hold on, on, Steve. <laughs> You're good, right? <laughs> so. I don't know. I feel like you guys might be quicker to help than my wife. Because oh, she would wow. laugh. She would make fun of it. Then she would laugh some more. <laughs> Damn. Or would she take pictures? That she is might call important. her mom to tell her what just happened. <laughs> Okay, man. I didn't realize this, but yeah, with this description, we might be the better. Yeah. We might be the better choice. Right. Damn. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Didn't know that was going on in your life. Don't oh, get so hurt in the shower. So this is my last day in Hawaii. I do my back out while brushing my teeth. My pregnant wife had to carry all the luggage through the airports. Oh, oh no. Oh, that sucks. That's a good. Ex- you can pretend to hurt yourself and do that. Big. Oh, that's yeah, that's perfect. Wow. Yeah, with the pregnant wife, you're right. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's why your wife laughs at you and takes pictures of you. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> We got a, a woman who um, was unmatched from a guy on a dating site. Then he left her a video message, and it turned out to be Ben Affleck. You're going to hear what he said at 747 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. If I call Travis, will I actually see him or someone who works for him? Absolutely. When you come in to see my to my office, uh, when you first call in, my staff will try to help you with with any basic questions that you have. Uh, I can give you a call back, uh, but they'll schedule usually try to schedule you for a free consultation with me, the attorney. 
and I'll meet with you personally. We'll talk about your the basics of your case, and I'll take you through a question and answer session that usually lasts an interview that usually lasts about 30 minutes, uh, where we'll get the basics of your financial situation. I can answer your questions, and we can talk about whether bankruptcy makes sense, your uh, your non bankruptcy options, uh, and how bankruptcy could affect you. What the process is. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choose the right chapter.com. That's choose the right chapter.com. Thanks for listening.